other side, there ain't no brakes. No, like none? Well, barely. <laughs> What's up YouTube? It's Melt Metal Anthony. I'm making you a video even though my shit's split. I'm out here with my old man. We're at an auction and uh, I'm going to show you guys how you might be able to score some cheaper equipment. That there is the box. They're doing the auction out of that. Right now they're auctioning off these tractors and my dad is interested in these tractors because he has a large piece of property he needs to maintain and he wants an enclosed cab. Pull up driver. You got a horn of Stay there. How do you like these, Mike? There's warranty till 24 on the first one, and warranty till 23 on the second one. 500 and 400 hours, quick couplers are all there. Like 125,000 about. 120, 110, 100, 50,000, 55, 60,000, 65, 70,000, 75, 80,000, 85. Let me know. 82 and a half. 80, take your pick. 82 and a half. 82, you know what it is? 82 and a half. 82 and a half. 81 to break it up. 81, break it up. They got warranty for two years. 81. There's Thursday, Friday, come 81. 82. 82, you're still out. Wait. 82. Wait. Wait, wait, I'll wait. Sold them times two, 81,000. You think you're not bidding? Keep the too much, together. too rich? Up, too much. Good deal. All right. Goodbye. What are you looking to pay for something like that? 30. 30? You want to steal it, huh? I want one that nobody's paying attention when they sell it to me. That's a nice machine on it. 10 horsepower. Yeah, is that the one you want? Nice. See if you notice who starts off with what they're worth. No, oh, hell no. What'd you pay for this thing? 18. 1800? Yeah. God damn. Stolen. Stolen. Better than stolen. Nobody was paying attention. <laughs> it's nice when nobody pays attention. Need to go pro parts. What is that? Is that a pipe threader? Yeah, pipe threader. This Mustangs, if you get them for about 300 a piece, we can sell them for 800. Okay. The, the, the tampers? The tampers, yeah. You buy them, I'll sell them all day for 800. I get rid of them like bad. Dude, they just leave the goddamn welding helmets right out in the rain. They don't care. Not theirs. They just sell them. Those little motors, you buy them for cheap enough, they're good to have around. You know, Maybe that is. That ain't no mag. No, that's a hammer drill. Oh, that's just a big hammer drill. No, that's not a mag drill either, hammer drill. If they had a mag drill here, I'd be interested. I think you're tripping out. Something reconditioned. Yeah. And our drills. Oh, cool. They're yeah. all drills. Flip that open. That's yeah. a big damn drill. Yeah, that's a hammer drill. Yep. I got one around. Ooh, log splitter. You need that. Yeah. If you buy that for about eight, nine hundred bucks, they get it. That'd be a deal, yeah. You know, not for nothing, they're new technology, so they'll probably be better than the year they come up with in a couple of years. But that's crazy. Where's the battery go? Underneath the seat. The charging port on the back. Yep. That's weird. All right, guys. I didn't, uh, we didn't get nothing today, we no deals, nothing we were interested in, so we'll be back tomorrow. Think we'll catch something tomorrow, Dad? Maybe, get here early. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you tomorrow. See you, Brian. Alright guys, I'm here for day two with my dad, he's unhooking the gator right now. We're gonna get out and see if we can't get lucky. Maybe get something uh, nobody's paying attention to, or they just don't know what it's worth. And uh, maybe make a flip. Maybe buy a, a new utility bed truck for myself. I don't know. My lips more swollen. But, all right. Let's see what happens. I thought you liked driving this thing. Yeah, I do. Lips out there ain't no brakes. No, like none? Barely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
hitchhikers yesterday. But we had a full canopy all the way to the back. People would have been there. Come with us. Probably like in between 98 and 06. That's good because it hasn't been molested. Yeah. You find one that hasn't been molested, it's that's a nice vehicle, you know? Yeah. I wonder why they turn these into flatbeds. Probably if you're hauling shit of a really rugged place, you know? Yeah. Is the oxygen even out yet? Out. Yeah. We have to go find where the beginning is. There's the ring. Yep. Yeah, they, they, they're still there. Yep. The other ones are gone. Oh, well, they're probably brought them out. All right, so here's my example of getting cheaper equipment at an auction. I just picked up this air compressor here for $1,450. It retails for $2,000, so I'll save myself a couple of bucks. It's a tool I'm going to use, so it's well worth it to me. And my other one, I'll sell it for 1000 on Craigslist. So I've only bought two things so far because the deals were right. A lot of these people out here are paying over retail for a lot of this stuff, which it's not my bag. So, uh, But like I said, I, everything I did buy, I bought at least 30% below retail, and that's kind of the goal, at least 30%. These guys are gonna charge you 12 and a half, so you gotta keep that in mind. Um, and then there's also sales tax, which is 6%. And God knows that they put that, they probably put that on after the 12 and a half, I'm sure. So, you gotta keep all that in mind when you're at these auctions. Oh yeah, the big girl right there, they a thousand dollar, nine, eight, nine, nine, a thousand dollar, one thousand, nine, 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 but uh, me and him, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna look at the equipment because there's nothing else that I'm left uh, interested in over here. What are you got? Nothing else? What about the snowblower? No, the snowblower's next uh, tomorrow. No, it's not today. No, no, it's oh, tomorrow. Oh, it is tomorrow. I checked, yeah. There's nothing else right here? Nah, it's all little support equipment and shit. Nothing I need. I mean, unless those go. pressure washers go for cheap. Yeah, what? Oh, there's the hand right in the back. Okay. Do those buckets right there go for a lot of money? No. No? They don't. They go cheap. With the hard fit? With the hard face on the side? Yep. Huh? Or you know. But they ain't got no if there was any uh densifiers or but they don't they got a couple of cameras. Usually they got densifiers and all kinds of crap. What do you think about those those uh stump removers? Those those are good for here. I bent the shit out of that first day. Yeah. They got grapples. They got a rock bucket too. I got those. You got a rock bucket? Yeah, it's perfect. I used it once and too, the whole slat's too big or? fucking long to get the, the dirt out of it. Well, what if you used it just to scoop and, and load the the, uh, gri the grizzly or the shaker box? Or the screening plant, I mean. Nah, it's just it's a brilliant waste of time. They got this nifty loading ramp so you can just back your shit on. So just to give you guys the idea of the kind of money that comes to these auctions, and these are the guys who aren't permitted all the support equipment like me and the old man. Somebody flew in on their own fucking helicopter. Just to give you an idea, so that's who's buying those big items like those cranes, the giant excavators, the, the brand new dump trucks they got over there. You know, the old man's got that kind of money, but he pretends like he doesn't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> These trucks here are all brand new. These are $200,000 plus trucks right here. Especially that red one right there. That red one's a nice one. That's a peach. $225,000. $225,000? How many miles? They say 99, 99,000, uh, 9,033 uh, miles. Yeah, it's still over 25,000. Oh, I mean, it's only 9,000 miles. There ain't nothing on that. Yeah. Let's see if there's any estimated with that spire on it. Like nah, I think these are all buckets. I ain't seen nothing. This guy comes with all these buckets. You see that? Yeah. That's a nice machine right there. I'd love to have that. Yeah. I think they're moving the auction right down there. So unfortunately, this unit sold. This would have been something I was interested in. It's a little heavy, kind of hard to sell on the internet, but if you get it cheap enough, anything's worthwhile. It's actually bigger than mine I keep on the back of my truck. This is the 650. I only keep the 350 on the back of my truck. But that right there, new, was probably about a $30,000, $40,000 welder. Um, and the trailer it's on and everything else. 
You know, if you get that thing for less than five grand, you'd really be making a deal. Especially with only 450 hours on it. You know, your, your boy would love to have one of these for a good price, but they ain't gonna go for a good price. They're gonna go for a lot of money. The caterpillar? I hate caterpillars. Yeah. Yeah, it is. What do you think about that machine though? Pretty nice. That's nice. That's real nice. nice. Where where are you a buyer? 40 grand. 40 grand? Yeah. Let's go see what they sell at. So what we're heading to next is, I don't know if you guys can see in the background, those bouncy castles. If you uh, guys have uh, followed me for a while, you know I used to own a bouncy castle company, so those are an easy quick flip for me if I can get them for the right price. They're worth about four hundred dollars each to me. Uh, with the 12.5% and, and everything else. So that's all I would bid up to on those, but I guarantee you they're gonna go for a lot more money because people bring their kids here and the kids beg them to buy those fucking things. Yes. Damn, that was a good fucking deal. $800 for both of those mixers. Yeah, that's a really good deal. Really great deal. Too much. Uh, 750. I knew there'd be a frenzy for the company. See who this next one goes for. This one would be easier to sell. Tropical one. 1350. More than retail. More than retail. So this is another item I know really well because I used to rent these all the time. So I would say $500 because it's not a full pole tent. You see there's no poles connecting it, so it makes this tent less valuable. It also makes it less sturdy. See, that's why you don't want to really rent these tents because they're not secured to the ground. This thing's basically worthless. So those tents are good for like personal use, but you really don't want to rent them because as you see, when I touched the pole, it came right off from underneath of it. So that's nothing I'm gonna bid on. So I'd really be interested in one of these boom lifts, but I know they're gonna go for a fucking billion dollars. They're, everybody's overpaying for everything today. I don't think they're accounting for that 12 and a half percent. And also the sales tax on top. This might be more my budget, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> there's, some, there's some guys around here with a lot of money. You can tell they're gonna spend a couple million, three, four, five, ten million here. Easy. 30,000, 35, 35 and 35, here we go, 35, 35 and 35, 40,000, 45, 45 and 45, here we go, 45, 40,000, 45, 42 and a half, 42 and a half, and two and a half, here we go, 42 and a half, 42 and a half, maintain the best, just like you maintain your, your son and daughter, 42 and a half, 42 and a half, 42 and a half, and then we might have jumped once, where were you? 35, 37, and two guys were in, 35, 37 and a half, 37 and a half, and now 7 and a half, here we go, 36, 36 and 36, here we go, gotta go, 36, worst thing we've done, boys, 36,000 dollar bill, I'm going to Shawnee, Oklahoma, 36 wasn't bad, but too rich for my blood, 7, so there's 76,000 going to Virginia, you want to vote, 76 each, if this machine here goes cheap enough, I might go home with it, because I could use this to build my house, and these bobcat machines are very versatile. You can run a bucket, you can run all sorts of stuff on them. But I think it's gonna go for a lot of money. Everything's been going for about between 10 to 20% over what I feel like it's worth. So we'll see. We shall see. We, there's clearly other interested parties, but we'll see. That, that these again are the big machines. Yeah, these are big fucking nice. machines. That's the trip, man. That long reach is cool. Yeah, I had one, I tore it apart. You know, my, but the boom that I sold, Yeah. I sold it to these guys in Canada. It was on the, it was on the, the Curse of Oak Island. Oh, yeah? yeah the boom? Yeah, the boom. They, they bought it and put it on one of their machines. Huh. They could take it up there. I think that's a demo machine. 
Yes, but that's the end boom that goes on there. Huh. What do you think? I mean, 80,000 miles. It looks like a two-wheel drive. What do you think? That's Ford. That's probably about, about 25,000. Damn. They didn't fucking ship a shit all the way here from, uh, from Oklahoma because they get better money here. I don't doubt it. So today's the day they're going to auction up the service trucks. That's what I was interested in initially, and that's part of the reason I wanted to come to this auction, because they have a four-wheel drive service truck, and uh, moving to Montana, that's going to be very helpful to me. What I'll do is, if I can get one cheap enough here, I'll sell my truck, uh, Elcar Cole, not my 06, but definitely the 97. That's what I need right here. 2019 F450. Yeah, I could see me in this, huh? What do you think? A little Super Duty action? I ain't got money for this, though. I guarantee you this motherfucker can go for a lot of money. 7,800 miles, 2019. Looks like somebody stole a key out of it, which I don't know what use that would do them. Free condiments, you see that? Let's call this fucking guy. We'll call this fucking dude and see what's up. Free toothpicks, free condiments. Fucking A, look at that. Score. What? Oh, that. Like the frame or then don't show the beat. Yeah, the frame's definitely got some pock in it, but not, not awful. Yeah, this isn't bad. Yeah, they, they're probably oh, blasted this thing. Truck. Yeah, it is double frame. Oh, I've never seen one that sound like that. Yeah, they repainted this motherfucker for yeah, sure. Yeah, they just painted right over that damn. Too much. <laughs> I mean, look, they painted right over the fucking grease. So I'm interested in this truck over here. This actually is actually a real nice truck here. I don't like auto cranes. I'm not a fan. I'd rather have an IMT or a Stellar. This is a pretty nice fucking truck, though. Automatic, which would be sweet because I'm fucking sick of shifting, but two-wheel drive which doesn't really help me any because i really do need a four-wheel for where i'm going i love this style bed right here these reading beds this thing's been fucking repainted and i'll tell you why you got a kind of a work area an area to write estimates an area to write invoices i always try to get them with the flip down if i'm going to get one it sounds a little absurd you know i mean if the deal's right of course i don't give a shit if it's got a flip down or not i'll find a place to write and i also like the lift gate really like the lift gate but this is not going to be today. Oh, uh, this will probably be the last day of the auction. But there are several over back that way that are going to be today. But let's take a look in this cab anyway, just for shits and giggles, right? Oh. 351,000 miles. She's been fucking used. Huh? Fuck, let's see if the old man wants to go look at those other service trucks. That's what I'm really interested in. I really want a four-wheel drive if I'm going to upgrade. Oh, old man's still oogling. He likes that Pete. Man loves Peterbilts. Peterbilts and freight shakers, he likes to call them. Always Peterbilt and freight uh, freight liners. He's got a, I think a Volvo right now or something weird, but he don't care as long as he can get it cheap and he can resell it for more. He'll run it for a couple of weeks and then resell them. It's old fat boy's truck. It's a nice, nice bed on it. I think it's too fucked up. Can I stick a knife in there? Yeah. It's a screwdriver. It's not anything with screwdriver. Usually this key will do it. <laughs> you don't got the key anywhere in the fucking truck? That's supposed to be in here today. Oh shit, look at that. They bang that fucking bang that fucking headache rack good. I only bought one thing that I plan on flipping and that was a a, a vibrator for a cement. Brand new. Only paid a buck seventy. They go for you know three fifty. So you know I'm making myself a quick one hundred and fifty bucks on the internet or something. You know nothing nothing to write home to mom about, but eight hundred and thirty thousand miles on it. Yeah, it's too many. Yeah, thirty grand's about all it's worth. The front end's fucked up. It's entire. Yeah, I want I want to start the body up. Looking into the body center. Yeah, been hit. You can see where it was rewelded up top. Yeah. It yeah, it looks like somebody blew their nose on it. Yeah. So here's another good part about these auctions. Buy nothing or buy something. Get a free hat. So I got one for me and the old man. This cool old Kenworth. 
Okay. What's up? Look at the back window, it's a slide open. That's pretty badass, I mean, whoever did it did a really good job on it. Yeah, it's a really cool truck. That's great, they're kind of jack trapped in the front. Instead of the transmission being the ship, you shift the transmission out, you shift out the rear box. Okay. It's like a split rear wing. What year is this? I don't know, 70. We know it's got the Cummins. That is a cool fucking truck. You sure that ain't? No, that's gotta be like 60. Yeah, it's gotta be in the 60s, yeah. Yeah. It's a needle nose Kenworth. A needle nose? Yeah. It's cooler than hell. <laughs> it's nice. Somebody took time to make this thing nice. Shot. This thing's sick. It's a cat. I know that much. This thing is sick. Is that bad? Yeah, C7. That's a seven liter. It's a little baby engine. If you beat it, I mean, look at it leaking oil every fucking place. What do you think this truck's worth? Probably gonna bring thirty grand. Over. 25 grand, I could turn around and sell this thing for fucking 40. It's been in salt for sure. You can see right there. If I can get this bad boy cheap enough, I'm buying this motherfucker. Oh yeah, I'll buy this motherfucker in a heartbeat. If I can get cheap enough, 30 grand or less, it's coming home. Bad motherfucker right here. Oh yeah, that's sick. Oh yeah, stellar. 10,000 pound crane. Hydraulic crane, oh yeah. This thing's fucking sick. This thing's sick. This is about a fucking $30,000 bed. I want this one. Probably can't afford it though. This thing's probably gonna go for some crazy fucking money. The only problem is it doesn't have the keys in it. You can't start it to see what's going on with it. But it does have a wireless crane remote. It's got the 10, 6, uh, 10 620, I believe. Stellar. Yeah, it's got yeah, you'd have, have, you'd have to get your CDL for this. this is this a CDL truck? Yeah. Damn, too bad. Well, it's GVW 33,000, so it probably only weighs about 25, 21, 22. No. Yeah, it's a loop truck. Yeah, I don't fucking, I don't want to do service. No. You get into that fucking hole and that's all. Oh my God, look at that. Hydraulic, transmission, motor oil. Anything you want. Take all that shit right out of it and sell it. I, there's a couple of companies that would tell me to do that, but then you, you get suckered into being a mechanic. Yeah. And I don't want to be a mechanic. Being a mechanic is not fun. Let's go look at things that are more in my price range. <laughs> I might be able to afford the Kenworth. If that Kenworth sells for 30, I'll, I'll buy it and probably just sell it. What the hell kind of crane is on that? What's with the end of it? I don't know, but it has a rope on it. That's weird. <laughs> That's how we put it. Snatch rope on it. Yeah, I wouldn't want that thing. That, that's the one I'd be more interested in. Is that a C miles. is that a CDL truck? That look probably. That's a sick I'd like that. What's underneath here? Oh, it's got a winch. Fucking sick. I like this truck a lot. I think this I think this one's my favorite. With only with 91,000 miles on it. It's crusty and shit. But I don't care. So it's got all this lube shit though. I don't want to get caught being a fucking mechanic, so I'd tear that shit right out. It's just your access to your crane. This thing's fucking sick though. Yeah, yeah, you put oxygen acetylene right there. Yeah, this is probably a CD outside. You think so? Yeah, I know. What the fuck this is for? It's an old school well hooked up. It's a 94. So it's a 95. It's got air brakes. Yeah, that's all so air brakes. It's 33, 
So the jump cart's here. He's gonna try to jump this thing over for us, see if we can get it running. See if I'm gonna be a buyer. That is why I want it right there. Well, it's not the only reason, but. It is a 6,000 pound crane. Hey, hey. So to me, it sounds like it has no fuel pressure, so that's not good. Could be nah, just a clogged fuel pressure. Yeah, how it's doing that, it's missing a brake. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Whatever it's like that. He, he's the mechanic. I'm the welder. Guys, she's a runner. Okay. I have to put my money where my mouth is. This might be the one. Look at high idle. Oh, it's automatic too? That truck would look good with metal, metal down the side of it, wouldn't it? So basically, I have to assume the crane doesn't work. I have to assume all the shit in the bed's worthless. That'd be a badass truck, though. I guess it goes a little. Seriously, the oil cap is. She's got blow by. I want to see if you got blow by. Oh, yeah. Let me see if it's got blow by. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what the fuck is that? Listen to this. Listen. I've never heard of that. It's just been so long. Something's rubbing up against something. Okay. Oh, what's <laughs> this? Go ahead, take it over now. Yeah, that's not bad. 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 Yeah, that's why I backed up again because the boys would go. Okay. See your boy driving this, huh? I don't know. You know I like old crusty shit. I need to get rid of all that lewd shit though. I don't want no fucking part of being a mechanic. That's a miserable fucking job. Commend you assholes that go out there and crawl underneath these fucking trucks every day. I wouldn't do it. Ooh, one seat, one seat power. I think this thing's got air lockers. This thing is a go anywhere, do anything fucking type of truck. This thing you could fucking, you could do anything with this fucking thing. Make a lot of money. I've never heard of a Vitoro crane, but I guess I'll find out about it. I like my IMT, but I'm not gonna be able to afford to keep both the the seven, the uh, 450 and this or the Super Duty or whatever you wanna call it. So if this comes home, Alcar Cole's for sale. Y'all can buy it. All right, guys, she's coming home. I got to get rid of Elkhart Cole, so hit me up if you want it. When you open the hood, let's do this. Luckily, I got the old man to help me with this shit. Pretty cool. Get weird color, but, I mean, it suits I me. Like I'm a weird cold. dude. Have to touch her up a little bit. But, yeah, this is it. She's gonna, She's all mine. I got a lot of space now. Jake, 
Hopefully the crane works, no problem. So you fix that. Get your remote when you get this. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah, but I need to I need to get rid of all that lube shit. Yeah, we'll just take it all off and fucking sell it. It's got hydraulic outriggers. I like that. That's gonna be nice. Just gotta figure out how to use them. Here's your, your the tanks. You think your oxygen and acetylene will fit in there? Yeah, they will. Sweet. Good. I don't have to worry about that. I put my my engine drive on the other side. It's gonna be a killer truck. That's how many hours she's got. Low hours, low miles, ninety one thousand. I'm fucking super excited. This thing is gonna serve me very well in Montana. I can probably even do recovery with it because it's such a heavy duty fucking truck. Air brakes. I'm gonna have to go get my air endorsement. Another Cummins. Oh, it has an air air horn. Just cru cruising along. <laughs> well, guys, that's the end of the auction. We ended up with the truck right here for 19 grand. I think that was a great deal, especially because it's four wheel drive. It's got a heavier duty crane, it's got all those loop system inside of it that I can sell because I, I don't want to play mechanic. Um, and now I just got to sell our car coal. So if anyone's interested, I've got an F450 for sale. Nice IMT boom. Call me. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed myself at this auction. I made a couple of deals. It's been about 21,000 bucks. But it's all right. Make it back. Hopefully this month. Probably not. But all right, guys. Hopefully this year. Hopefully this year, right? At some point. <laughs> at some point in my life. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, share, do the whole nine. My old man's going to go to the bathroom, and then we're going to go pay for these fucking things. All right, catch you on the next one.